so yesterday we got about 12 inches of snow and uh, between the two past day and a half or two days we got just about 20 gallons in our buckets and this evaporator was going about two gallons per hour last time we used it with this fan uh, I don't have the fire bricks yet they're supposed to come tomorrow Let's see if we can pump the speed up for the boil <laughs> get this thing cranking so we're me and Wesley are gonna get this started right now it's super nice out right now it's almost 40 degrees so clearing the snow out clean the pan up a little bit let's do it All right, guys, we got this thing loaded up with some wood. We got some stickers in there. We got the fan on max right now. It's starting to crank. We got our first bit of syrup in there. Charlie won't stop barking at Nova. And uh, it's starting to come out good. I'm sure it's cranking now. Getting going quite nicely. Should be boiling in a few minutes. Having fun. Nice, beautiful day. 5.15. Now we collected a couple more gallons, so we're just about maybe over 20 gallons here. And uh, I just poured the last bit into here, so it killed the boil. The boiling is way more significant on the rear one than the front one. But this still, I've been using it as like a warming tray. So we're getting it in here, it starts to boil a little bit, and then I kind of pour it into the other pan as that one goes down. And then we pour the new stuff in here to heat it up again. So everything's in the pan. Um, let's keep it going, crank it out. We're gonna finish up in on the stove which will be nice because last time we did this, we were in our old kitchen and uh, the vent sucked and we have a nice hood now. So there's not gonna be steaming up the whole house, which is definitely gonna be nice. Um, it's starting to smell nice and sugary. So let's keep it up. I just got this down to an eight quart pot. Over here, I took a little bit out just because it was so close to the top. Uh, I didn't want it to overflow when it starts boiling here. But uh, when I poured it in there, I just filtered it. I used this little, uh, like a bacon grease splash guard for a pan. Got a decent amount of stuff out. And then obviously um, we'll boil it down. We'll do the pre-filter and then the final filter. So we're gonna get going on this and get this thing boiling. Hopefully finish this up before 10 p.m. All right, 10.15, getting pretty darn close there. Uh, I'm checking it with our bobber right here and uh, it's not quite right yet, but I think we're pretty close. We got it set up here, so when it hits the right bricks, we can drop it in through our heavy filter, and then uh, got our jars we can get it into. Of course, we got the funnel here to get it in there because we're not playing the game trying to get it in there. happens that quick it was about 10 bricks off or 5 to 10 bricks off and then uh, real quick it just hit and then uh, checked it and it was all set it started bubbling up like crazy just filtering this last bit through now and then this is the good stuff this is what we're gonna put in that bottles it's the maple syrup it's obviously very thin right now because it's so hot but it'll uh, thicken up. Filtered it through there into that pot. Gonna put it in this one. It's gonna be a little bit easier to work with with one hand uh, by myself with this little one, so.
right guys, just about 54 ounces of syrup after a 20 gallon boil. And uh, gosh, that took me like eight and a half hours. But uh, yeah, definitely not cost effective, guys. But it's gonna be some pretty darn good stuff. 